uh, I want to discuss today Also, in view of the thing that I want to do, I want to do eventually analysis of varieties. So, uh, or to consider measures of such, etc. So, I want k, I want this k to be not that by closure of q, for example. C is much better than that. Uh, but C is not the only one. Uh, and uh, having a Value. So actually, it will not come about much in the talk, but this is what I want to think of. And maybe the, the only example we know is C uh, for this, but there are others, so I just want to keep this in mind. Uh, for example, one can consider CP. Uh, the completion, so when I said completion, So complete means that the metric that the absolute value gives is complete. And uh, whenever you have a, a, a field with an absolute value, you can complete it. And this is another field which is complete. And if your, your field was, to begin with, algebraically closed, then the completion is algebraically, algebraically closed as well. And if you have anything with an absolute value, then there is a canonical way to extend this absolute value to every algebraic extension. And if you are familiar with QP, the periodic numbers, you can extend the absolute value on the periodic numbers to every algebraic extension of it. So also to QP bar, the algebraic closure of QP. And then you can complete. And this is what you get, CP. An algebraic closed uh, field with canonical absolute value on it, which is extension of the periodic absolute value. Uh, so those fields are a good link between the right geometry and differential geometry or whatever, uh, usual topology of my words, and the completion of that right closure. Of QP. And there are other fields. And actually, again, actually what I will do is consider the final algebraic, algebraic geometry of the algebraic closed field. And this will not much come about in the discussion, but I, I, I do want to ask you. And I will make some remarks on this. Maybe I should mention another thing that I was considering of while preparing these lectures is whether I want to do everything of algebraic closed field alone or to consider the slightly more sophisticated version of algebraic geometry over uh, non algebraic closed field, which slightly complicated things, not, not too much, but somehow uh, exactly because one wants to consider the real uh, field or the periodic field. But if you if you are willing to, to deal with these guys, then this is not much of a difference, actually. Okay. And um, I assume that algebraic geometry is not completely a new field to anyone here. So everyone saw something somewhere. So I'm allowing myself to be brief uh, with this introduction. Uh, for example, uh, 
Uh, when I consider the fine varieties, let me take this uh, uh, shortcut in defining it. This is the category. I mean are the uh, spaces of functions, regular functions on varieties, but actually there, there is a duality of category and maybe for definition this is the, the best way to, uh, to, to give a definition. So objects are uh, a fine algebra so this, of these adjectives and uh, morphisms are just uh, uh, k-homorphisms between such, only dualized, considered in the other way around. Uh, and let me, so if you do want, and of course we do, uh, want to think about things geometrically, I want to think about the points of the space underlined, and this is what we call the spectrum. And let me to begin with define it at the following uh, manner. So the maximal spectrum of A in a fine uh, algebra will be the, the space of all homomorphisms as k algebras. Uh, for this final object k itself. Uh, so this is a set. Uh, now, here's a fact that will explain this, but it's basically a notion that is that uh, this is like x uh, I can view the, the elements of A as functions uh, from x to k. And the notion that says that this is injection. And this is really what uh, gets the theory goes, uh, gets it going. And uh, I will explain this. And of course, uh, we define this map by one. So if A is in A, I define A at X to be actually X of A. A is a map from the Gaudian field. So what are assumptions about A? Such. Find generated K algebra with no difference. So it's the set X that I want to think of as the object of, of mine. Only I want to think of A uh, as an extra structure on it. So this is just uh, a twisted way to think of things, but uh, this is what uh, is very powerful. Um, but, and though X with two topologies, Topologies or the weakest topologies uh, that make the functions of A, uh, which think of them as functions that I think. regular functions uh, 
Uh, what is? So elements of A are functions uh, from X to K, and uh, on K I do I, I may form two topologies, and I, I may define I, I may require all the functions from A to be continuous, and this gives me two topologies. Uh, on X, uh, the topologies on F, on, on K, let's start with uh, well, the confined topology uh, this is the risk topology if you wish and, I mean this is if you want zero to be a closed point, and also you want your topology to be shifting variant, the elements of K, then you have to have all uh, points closed and take the minimal such topology. This is the risk of topology on C. On, 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 uh, on K, so. Uh, and also you have the other topology and the absolute value. Topology. This is the standard topology on C, if you wish. Uh, let's call it the house of topology. Uh, get the Zariski topology and half of topology on X. Clearly, since points are closed for the house of topology, the Zariski topology is weaker than the Hausdorff uh, for K and for every X. Z is weaker than H. So morphisms, I, I, of course, we have already defined what morphisms are. But in our dual uh, point of view, uh, these are maps x to y. Right. And of course, whenever you have a map from a set x to a set y, you can pull back functions by recomposition in this map phi. Uh, of x and y are thought as um, those symbols represent spectrum. spectrum. And, uh, and phi star are defined. Uh, a map from regular functions on y to functions on x. And uh, now, this is a requirement that when you uh, pull up such function, it is still like a So, exercise. Check that phi star. Both uh, Z and H continues. And this is by the fact that I'm using quick uh, topologies in our for definition. This, this, should, this should be very easy. It's a homomorphism function. Yes. Thank you. Uh, okay. Now uh, I try to uh, I emphasize the injectivity here in my discussion. That let me uh, go back to it. Uh, So, uh, 
that there are, there are two uh, steps here. I want to discuss this. Uh, first, and also I could justify, maybe I, I use, I define public of media with the maximum spectrum of image. This is spectrum usually defined to be a spectrum of all maximum ideals in the algebra. While every maximal ideal, of course, gives me an homomorphism, maximal ideas are in one to one correspondence with homomorphisms into fields. And here I said that these are the homomorphisms into the field K. So there is something special going on, and this something special is called, I mean, K and not anything else. Uh, this something special is called the Risky Lemma, or which is equivalent to the notion of that, and so let me uh, describe this, because I will use this kind of thing. Uh, in the near future, uh, so why not actually discuss it in full? Uh, for A, think of it as a function, uh, I want to uh, I want to show that for uh, any function there is some point little x such that a of x is not zero. The image of a non-zero element uh, is it was zero. So I'm constructing this. So pick a maximal ideal in uh, a when I invert a. So this take the the algebra A, and add, localize, or add the symbol 1 over A. Since there are no nilpotents there, uh, there is no problem with localizing in this way, we should think of it. Uh, A is not nilpotent, so I can, uh, the, the semi-function by A, the all powers of A is, uh, could be, uh, that does uh, include zero, and I can uh, add this, in here, uh, and consider, so when every algebra has a maximal ideal in it, it's for its own name or something, uh, and consider uh, the map A to A over M, and this is the field. Actually, I claim that this field is K. And uh, why is that? We know that A, so. Uh, we know that A is fine generated. Also, this guy is fine generated. I just added one more symbol. And now the image, the subjective image of fine generated is still fine generated. This is clear. And, uh, uh, so we want to apply following uh, to that algebra. That's it. So this is a risky then. Another field of mathematics. Uh, so we have spaces here and spaces of functions uh, on them and some duality going on. Uh, this is familiar also from the theory of uh, compact uh, hearts of spaces and six star algebras. Uh, 
right? So uh, we had a very similar term, Gelfand term, for the for sister algebra, saying that a commuted in a sister algebra which is a field must be sister. So this, this is, at, in some sense, an analog of that. Lemma, this would be all homomorphism from A to fields. Because those fields that you can get are K, always. So before proving the risky lemma, let, let me uh, prove this uh, uh, lemma, which is uh, very much related, and I will use anyway in the future. So this is why I choose to again to present those things, even though this is very basic. And the, the lemma I'm uh, presenting now. Uh, is sometimes called uh, in algebra uh, going up the line over. Uh, the geometry meaning of it is that, and I will be express this in the future, is that finite maps between varieties are always over. But this is completely at the right now. Or maybe before the level. I'm not trying to be uh, as general as uh, If B is a finite line of finite generated as an A module, whenever you inject A into B, you can Think of BB as an algebra by its own algebra, just, just think of multiplication by elements of A. Uh, so B is an A module, and they want to be fine generated. Uh, and uh, dually, so think about those things in geometry, uh, such maps. And if A is an A 
ideal in A, and we're not writing down, but this is simple. Uh, we have A, it's 48, and we have in uh, capital A, the Latin A, and then. Uh, just an ideal. Any ideal. Okay. Uh, then I can take the ideal generated by A in B. This is denoted A times B. This is the ideal generated by little a. Consider A as a subset of B. So consider little, not A, as a subset of B and take the ideal generated. Uh, If A is not everything, then the ideal generated by it is not everything. And the proof of it is some version of the Kayama lemma. I will give an explicit proof for it for you guys. Uh, so let's assume. Uh, that A, B uh, is B uh, and show that A must be A or that sum of A times BI for some silent generating sum. This is expressing uh, uh, sum of uh, BI of, uh, is a finite generating set of, uh, uh, of B and without uh, loss of generality I may assume that B1 is Uh, this expression over here saying that uh, each of the BIs I can express as finite combination of a uh, of linear combination uh, of linear combinations of the other Bs uh, of all Bs with elements uh, in the in the ideal A uh, and this is uh, first this is the following this is method take B1 to the N, and each of them uh, could be expressed with AIJs times the same generator. The AIJs here are in the ideal coefficients now. Is this clear? happening in commutatively, so multiply here on, on the left with the adjoint of that, the adjoint matrix. Uh, and of course, this is just the determinant of Aij minus delta Ij. Uh, this is a constant time the whole vector B. And now 
not just 3D, it's at the, the first uh, line of this uh, matrix uh, equation, well, V1, and we call it V1 is 1. So, uh, Again, the first line what is going on, uh, and this is terminal for that thing, times one. That's this number. And now observe, if you open up this determinant, uh, that all the terms uh, in the determinant, all uh, and the determinant is just sum of uh, generalized uh, diagonal. Uh, monomials and only one of them will not have all the elements in A, so this is oh, like this computation, observe that this is in one cluster. And one is Okay, any question? Uh, So I gave this very explicit thing, although very uh, familiar probably, uh, for two reasons. One is to prove the risky lemma, just for completeness, and uh, the other is that I will use this in the, in the, in the near future. Um, okay. So uh, again, the risky lemma is saying that uh, every fine algebra, which is a field, is K itself. So uh, I'm proving this. Uh, so I'm having this A, and it is finally generated, so I can write it down as K with some finitely many generators. Uh, now, I want to split it into two things. Take the generators, take a maximal subset of the generators, call them X, X1 to Xn, which is algebraically independent, and the rest call Y, Y1 to Yn. Write it down. Uh, x is x1 to xn uh, algebraically independent. Yeah. Uh, over k. So if you just take kx, this is just the ring of Uh Y, you know that y1. Y M um, algebraic over the rest. So each of the Y's, Y one say, satisfies some polynomials with coefficients in here. Uh, this polynomial need not be monique a priori. But if I divide by some polynomial in Kx, it will be monic. The coefficients of the, so it's y1 will satisfy a polynomial in Kx and some other uh, variable, t, I don't know, something else. Uh, and the coefficients of the polynomial in t will be polynomials in Kx. And maybe to the highest power of t, well, there will be some uh, uh, coefficient. Let's divide by this coefficient. And then y will satisfy a monique polynomial. And this means that the module generated by y will be finally generated because some power of y will be expressed, this power of y will be expressed as a combination of the others. So this means that y is integral or generated an integral extension, maybe not over kx, but over kx when I'm allowing myself to divide by some specific polynomial, depending on, on this y one. Similar for y2 in general. So thanks to all these polynomials, we'll pair them together, allow yourself to localize by this one. So uh, y, uh, y1, y i's are integral over kx when I'm allowing myself to divide by. some 
called uh, and and a is uh, an integral extension. Assumed to be a field. A has no, has no, no trivial identity. So the lemma we just proved, taking well, A to be B and this guy to be A in the presentation of the lemma, is that actually this guy has no, uh, has no ideas. There's no no trivial idea. Is it is well, as well as I that's our assumption. The property of being a field goes down uh, under finite extension, under integral extension. But this is an absurd. Uh, in Kx, Kx is just a ring of polynomials. You have many, many areas of polynomials. Infinitely many elements of polynomials. Uh, you can prove this the way you prove uh, uh, infinitude, infinitude of prime, the primes. Same, same uh, proof that uh, you know works. So maybe. Uh, now, take if f, well, if the f is really a polynomial here, not a constant. Uh, F plus one generally would be an idea. What are you drawing down? Uh, I'm, expre I'm explaining uh, the proof of the Zariski lemma. Uh, I'm assuming that A is a field and I want to derive contradiction. So I go that this is a field. Yes. And actually, I want to explain this cannot be unless this, this thing is K itself. At this stage of the proof, I'm, I'm trying to prove that this is k. Well, I want to show that actually we don't have any parameters here. A is k. I mean, uh, maybe I should. I there, there are no x's in, in this. Uh, it's, a priori, this is just an algebraic <laughs> extension. And actually, yeah. Now, now okay. yes. what I want to show now is that uh, uh, A is an algebraic extension of k. There are no exits here. No uh, algebraically independent parameters. Then why, why is this k is uh, 1 over f a field? So this should follow from the lemma. We know that uh, a is a finite extension of this one. And we know that uh, if, if we, you did have a non-trivial ideal here, it will extend to a non-trivial ideal here. This, will, this is what the lemma tells you. A field is exactly those creatures that don't have any non-trivial ideals. Uh, so, since we do assume that A uh, is a field, and we do know the lemma, we get that this is a field. Now, what I'm trying to show is that there are no x's in this business. I guess my, my notation kind of assumes some finitely many, uh, non-zero finitely many uh, x's, so my notation is a bit bad, but uh, this is what I'm trying to explain now. What I'm saying is that in Kx, you have many illness of polynomials. When you Construct the field of rational uh, functions over k in the, in the uh, variables xi's, then it is not enough just to uh, invert one element, one of x. It can't be that we we'll arrive here in the field. Uh, I'm not I'll do my combination. Take f plus 1, and I do generate by f plus 1. Uh, this is a non trivial. Ideal. Unless, well, f is a constant, and not the ideal uh, in Kx. Okay. In K 
space. Uh, let, let it proceed. Uh, in case f is in k, uh, kx1 over f is just kx. Um, and uh, this is not a field, of course. And x1 uh, is uh, a non trivial ideal. Ideal. Unless there are no x's. So, okay. in here as well, my notation is that I kind of, in my notation, assume there are x's. Uh, so I thought that uh, I was careless. Uh, A is just K with Y's, uh, and it is a good like over K. But K was assumed to be algebraic algebraically closed, and this, uh, this is that A. Okay, and uh, well, I hope this is clear. And uh, before uh, taking a break, I want to, uh, to conclude another uh, geometric interpretation of that same thing. Kind of uh, mentioned briefly. So every time morphism of the bike varieties of the final bike varieties is on. So again, by fine morphism we mean some y to x. I guess is my notation here. Uh, such that the corresponding a to b is uh, in the context B is a finite model over, uh, over A. And uh, I, I wish I had the time to give more examples. I hope you are familiar with some. Uh, maybe we can do it uh, later. Uh, okay. Not on to by definition, actually, uh, I guess I failed to, to say explicitly. I have too many things to say. It, it, it is dominant. What, what okay. does okay. follow on, on the level of points right. is that the image is dense, mm -hmm. which is the property called in algebraic geometry dominance. So, uh, yes, in, in set theory, if you do like maps to maps on function spaces, x goes to y, set uh, uh, on, on set theoretical map. If and only if the map functions on y to functions on x uh, is injected. Uh, in topology, I, I guess you need to use the topology. Uh, x goes to y for nice topological spaces. So the map from functions on y to functions on x is injected if and only if the map from x to y uh, has a dense image. On nice topological spaces, and uh, same here. So what we don't know a priori that uh, our okay, but here I, I want to say that if, if the morphism is finite, this this is actually onto. This is a non-trivial, not entirely trivial thing. Um, so uh, assume x to y. Uh, is finite, that is OY to OX natural uh, 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 is, is, or if 
in which Ox is finite model of the OY. Uh, take for x in x, uh, x in x, or oh, sorry, y in y, is represented by an ideal, by a maximal ideal. is inside, if you take now this O n prime and intersect with O x, this is the pullback. Just to finish, uh, for the point x in x uh, representing, just uh, I'm writing down in point notation. And by this means that phi of x is one. In particular, means that you're dominant. In particular, it means that you're dominant. In particular, it means that uh, this, I, I didn't define properly. Uh, okay. this, but in okay. particular, it means injectivity of this map A to B. Okay. Yes. No uh, yeah, so I, again, uh, obviously, I am very brief. So uh, there is this notion that I didn't write down, I will not, of dominance between morphisms, which is basically saying that the image is dense in the image, uh, in, the, in the target, and on function level this means injectivity of monomorphic forms, monomorphic single, whatever. Uh, okay, I think this is a good 